My name is Rosalinder and I'm a CEO and founder of Peppy Pants. I'm a, a mom uh, with two daughters. I have no previous gaming or developer experience actually. Peppy Pants is an award-winning and innovative uh, gaming studio that teaches emotional intelligence to kids. Studies show that uh, emotional intelligence prevents bullying and that it's a key factor when it comes to success in life. So I decided to gamify emotional intelligence. I really like the game and, and my kids do too. Uh, I think it helps because they can uh, recognize some situations maybe that happen during the day or during the week. During the process of development we, we were out to the kindergartens and tested our games. We went uh, primarily to uh, daycares and we uh, brought in uh, one child at a time. And for me it, it's, it's very natural to just sit a few meters away and, and just hand them the game and observe everything that they do and just tell them just, just play. I'm not a coder, uh, so for me it was really crucial to, to find a great team. And uh, the key success factor for me was to making them as co-founders, uh, so they could feel that we are all in a team in the same boat. Being a co-founder in Puppy Pals has really helped us to be motivated and go through these hard times because when you when you try to create a, an innovation of some sort, it will be hard. It will be a couple of years uh, drinking water and, and eating bread. It was a hard work to um, you know travel around the whole Sweden and pitch uh, at different universities, co-working spaces, and incubators. We met Rosie because she, she was interested to be a member at, at Safra 6. But we are looking to accept new startup members. It's all about like uh, the team, uh, the scalability and the market potential. Rosie is a terrific entrepreneur and we believe so much in her. The biggest challenge to um, actually um, find financing was that many investors uh, consider app, app market as a very risky market. I actually applied to Reach for Change like three times. I asked them every time they said no, okay, what's your feedback to me? What should I make better? And uh, so I did that and I came back and pitched again. So uh, they understood that I will never give up. <laughs> Every year we gave her something that we thought she could develop and work on and she came back the next year and said, look, I have it and I'm ready to go. Uh, one of the things that we talked with her that we thought she was really missing was that sort of IT. And the final year she came back with Jesper and said, look, I have the whole package. Jesper and I are ready to work and it really showed passion and dedication. When we met Amazon, uh, they could feature us globally immediately because we don't use language. Within two days we got 50,000 downloads, mostly in US, UK and Germany. Aside from uh, the global reach, uh, actually the feedback from the customers was so valuable for us. Amazon customers um, are really used to giving uh, feedback and that's probably what makes Amazon um, such a powerful brand.